Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video, another day in my life and I'm just going to be going to the gym, heading to Sephora and I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful sunrise. I didn't get um, a lot of it because of all the trees. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below, and yeah, please enjoy this day going to the gym. So I'm headed to the gym and I'm gonna go to the gym. But um, yeah, we're gonna be doing Actually going to a new gym, and I've been consistent the entire month of February, and I've only missed like two days, which is Sunday. I am is my rest day. I literally never leave the house. Maybe to go and get food and stuff for the week, but yeah. With this gym, I'm gonna start recording, and I think Saturday mornings is the best time to film because nobody is usually in the gym on a Saturday because a lot of college students uh, go to this gym and they party on Friday nights and Saturday. They're probably just getting in from the bars the time that I'm at the gym so it's usually nobody in the gym and I've only seen like one person maybe two people filming in this gym so um so yeah I will see you guys after the gym so I made it to the gym and this parking lot is always full. There's usually nowhere to park. And excuse my windshield because it's super dirty. So I finally find a park in the front. Yay for me. I thought it was handicapped, but it's not. It's just a sign that you can't repair cars in the parking lot. So the first thing I do when I get to the gym, I usually do the Stairmaster or I walk for like five to 15 minutes. And this gym again was super busy. I'm over in this little corner and everybody keeps walking by, back and forth. So I'm doing some weighted squats and some I think they're called good mornings when you bend over um, working your hamstrings I think
So I just got done at the gym and when I tell you it's like hella people in there, like I only could film like a little bit because I didn't, I forgot to bring my tripod is in my other bag that I bring when I come like through the week when I'm working. But yeah, it's like hella people in there. I'm like, bro, y'all don't got no job. Is everybody off on Tuesday? Like, oh my gosh. It was so many people in there. But it was a good workout. My booty is so sore. Because this gym has a like hip thrust machine so you can um uh, you know get your booty right so i'm actually seeing some results and it's been um three weeks that i've been going consistently every day except on sunday um so yeah i'm about to go to get me an acai bowl from playa playa it's not called playa playa but that's what i call it um it's called playa bowl something like that and it's super good um it has like acai granola and like fruit everybody i mean you know what i'm saying when i say acai bowl so i'm gonna go get that and then uh what am i gonna do i was thinking about getting a manicure because my nails um look terrible see my nails so I don't know I call myself wanting to do press-ons but I'm afraid they're gonna come off because I use my hands literally eight ten hours a day at work so I'm not sure if I want to do that or not because I used to get um the dip powder on my nails and it's basically you just dip your fingers in the in this powder and it's hard and your natural nails so it's really good um for your nails so you don't have to get it filed and all that drilling with when you get acrylics or gel nails so i'm still thinking about it because that's going to be like a weekly or bi-weekly thing and i really don't have time to be going to the nail shop uh, when I'm off. And secondly, I honestly don't wanna waste the money. I honestly think it's a waste of money for me personally, because I don't do anything but work in the gym and that's it. So, but I may get them because I'm supposed to be going to visit my aunt in Atlanta the, like the middle of March and I don't want to have crusty hands you know you gotta come ready be ready stay ready so but yeah I'm about to go get this acai bowl and I will be back So I got super lucky with this parking spot because it's usually no parking. This is a great place to eat healthy, but it is in a terrible part um, of the area where you can park. It's literally right on the campus of University of Florida. All these students and workers are walking on, I think this street is called 13th Street. And it is the worst place to find parking. 
Usually when I go, I illegally park because I'm only in there for maybe like five or ten minutes. But this is one of my go-to spots when I want to eat healthy. So this is the Nutella bowl. I got, it's got like, that's uh, Nutella, strawberries. I added pineapple. It has coconut flakes and then granola and the acai. I think it has honey too, but that is what I got. I'll probably eat it before I get to the light, but I'm not gonna be greedy today. So that's it. So after the gym, I went to Whole Foods because I was looking for some green juices so I can drink in the morning. And after that, I headed over to Sephora because I was looking for the new Fenty. I think it's their concealer. And just to look around, I didn't get anything. I think I just got the concealer that they had in uh, the color 385. So I just left Sephora. I've been wanting to get the Fenty concealer and they were all sold out. And it's right next to Whole Foods. So I was gonna record in there, but when they don't have customers in their store, they be on you like you about to rob the whole store. Like I literally, everybody, every employee in the store, they either ask me if I wanted a basket or they ask me if I needed the help looking for anything. And I was like, no, no, and no. And you know, this one lady, she's walking around like she's cleaning. And I was like, lady, nobody's trying to steal, okay? Because I had my little hoodie on because my hair is not done. And yeah, so I'm just like, lady, let me just check out. So I end up getting the Fenty Concealer in 370, no, 385. This is the concealer. And then I end up getting the re-up on the fat water because I ran out and I've got it turned upside down because, you know, it's like completely out. So, and that really has helped me with my pores and just discoloration on my skin. So I don't really have any blemishes or anything. It's just like, couple on my chin and like a couple right here that's fading away so I'm headed back to the house to take a shower and braid my hair because I've been wearing a hat for the last three days and they're not gonna be really small they're gonna be like jumbo braids so it does not so it's not gonna take me that long to get them done. So I don't spend the rest of the day braiding my hair. So I will catch you guys when I'm probably doing my hair or done with my hair. So, okay.
just left the gym. It is Wednesday, and the last time we talked, I was supposed to go and braid my hair. As you see, I did not. Um, I don't know. I was just mentally lazy. A lot of in my head, and I just didn't do it. I had a headache, and I literally just sat on the couch watch Naked and Afraid and um, yeah so I didn't braid my hair one reason why I felt I, I think I didn't braid my hair is because I'm supposed to be going to Atlanta like March the 15th and if I put my braids in now they'll be like two weeks old and we can't have that when you're traveling with um, you know braids looking dusty and crusty so but I'm gonna figure it out and um, not be looking like a scallywag every day with my hair pulled back so I'm headed to work hopefully it's an eight-hour day because lately I've been the first one back from my regular route and the last one to basically one of the last people to clock out because I'm getting sent back to help people that are just bullshitting like not doing their job it's eight hours in a day and this one guy that I helped he was like so there's six sections in our like workflow he was like at the beginning or like the middle of like section three and then he gives me section five and six. And I'm just like, bro, what have you been doing all day? And then they try to be nice. Like, yeah, you see that I'm not happy doing your job. Like, bro, I can understand need, you needing help. But helping someone and doing their job are two different things. And I'm just like over it, doing other people's jobs. So. But we working on that. We working on that. So, um, but yeah, I wasn't able to film in the gym again. It was so busy and crunch. I need to start going back to Planet Fitness. But the only thing with Planet Fitness is that they don't have the machines that I like to work my butt and my quads and my hamstrings. Planet Fitness just don't have those machines and the vibes at planet fitness is like old man widow your wife still sleep and you at the gym looking at girls and i just don't like that vibe and the vibe at crunch is like we just came from the club we got on booty shorts and uh, sports bra so everybody can see our body that we haven't worked out with yet so yeah it's just it's just like night and day both of these gyms so uh, as you see I go sweat it up like nobody knows they don't see my body I'm not trying to let them see my body you know so it's for me to enjoy me to see you know uh, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. So y'all, I'm at work and I see this um, note on this little gift set. It says, free, unopened, help yourself. It's for the residents that live here. And she being nosy was listening to me. But, um, but yeah, I don't know if it's for me or I'm not going to take it, but they got some good stuff in there. Um, yeah.
so yay i did get off of work early it is like four o'clock like five minutes after four i did get off i would have been done like 2 30 but of course i had to go and help the same freaking guy from monday he's out here like slow poking around I mean, I won't say he's slow poking around, but um, yeah, I had to go and help him and I took like probably like an hour and a half, but it only took me like 45 minutes because it really wasn't that much to do. So, and then I got back to the office like 3.45, put my stuff away and then it was like four o'clock and I was like, you can have these 30 minutes because I'm ready to go. So I left and I've got a lot of time to do stuff tonight. And yeah, I may even braid my hair. I'm not sure. I'm hoping I can mentally connect and get my hair braided so I don't be looking like I look right now. So. But yeah, I am headed to the house and I'm happy that I got off early. So yeah. So if you don't know, I do have an hour and 15 minutes, sometime an hour and a half drive um, after I get off from work. And if you haven't watched any of my other vlogs, you know I did move um, back in, was it September, October? And I've been driving this hour and a half or so for about six months and it used to get to me but now I honestly take that time to kind of wind down and think about things that I um, I'm grateful for and thankful for things that I want to accomplish and just redirecting my mindset and refocusing on things that make me happy and fulfill my life because all we, we do know we are getting older and life is moving on and yeah the drive it used to be really like annoying because you think about you get off of work and it's like you have another hour when most of the time most people have between 15 and 30 minute drive to get home at this point I really don't mind it um, for the drive but yeah thank you for watching this video again I know it's boring the only thing I do is go to work go to the gym I don't even go randomly shopping anymore because I have too much crap that I don't need I don't use and I'm currently selling everything well not everything I'm just getting down to the bare minimum and not worrying about having all this stuff that I gotta use or figure out what to do with well, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one